Hey guys, as promised, I'm going to do a little CYO foundation update. I have been using the long lasting, I think they call it life proof CYO foundation and probably since March. I think it was March. It was right before we went to the Grand Canyon when we went on our Vegas trip that I had got this and I've been using it since then. The more I use it, the more I love it. Let me just tell you, the more I use it, the more I love it. The drawback is that the shades, matching the shades are really, really hard. So, you know, my local Walgreens, is, I don't know of any other place that you can get this other than online or at a local Walgreens. My local Walgreens does not stock this. Neither do any of the Walgreens around me in New Hampshire. They don't stock this at all. So I had to go on to Walgreens.com and order it from Walgreens website. What I did is, and I will link the Boots website as well, I went to that website to try to figure out what colors I was. And then, because the color charts are awful, they really are. And then I ordered it from Walgreens. Now, my Walgreens frequently has sales. Sometimes it's buy two, get one free. Sometimes it's buy one, get half off. Sometimes it's just an incredible sale. The last three bottles of the CYO foundation I bought cost me $5.12 each. I always, always, always ship to Walgreens. So I'll go onto Walgreens website. If there's Ebates, I'll do that, but I'll go into the Walgreens website and I order what I want and I have it shipped to my local Walgreens, which is five minutes away from me. There are Walgreens all over the place in New Hampshire. So I have it shipped there locally, so I never have to pay shipping, ever. So I'm fortunate in that sense. So normally they're like $7 a bottle. The last time I got them for five. The first time I bought them, it was buy three, get one free. So I have quite a few bottles of this. And I color, I put them all on my arm. And I'm gonna insert the photo here. I'm not a professional photographer. I'm certainly not a makeup artist. I'm certainly not good with color swatching. I had been out in the yard. My arm is slightly bruised. I have marks all over my arms from the twigs and the branches that I've been collecting but I still wanted you to kind of see what it looked like on my, my skin, my arms. Now, of course, matching to your arms, which are darker than your face, is not always the best idea, but it was the best I could do. Currently today, I have on 108 and a mixture of 108 and 104. These are the two shades that I have on, and I've mixed them, so they're the perfect shade for me. I also have worn the 106 alone and that's okay too. I have the 107, the 109, and the 110. <laughs> so you can see I have six bottles of this foundation plus on the shades that I really like, the 104, 107, and 108, I have backups. So if your skin tone is at all like mine, pale, um, you know, not a whole lot of co color, but not, not really light, light, but sort of medium. I guess I don't really know what you'd call me, but yeah, sort of medium. Uh, if your skin tone is at all like me, you might, you might want to think about a 107, 108 to start. If you're lighter than that, get the 104. But the, the other thing that I also got that I, that I really, really like, I, and I will tell you, I haven't really used them that much, but one is the CYO Illuminating, and this is a mixing cream. Both of these are illuminating, so if your skin is dry and you want a little bit of a glow, these are great things to mix one. One is the dark, darker one, and one is the lighter one. This is turn on the lights, and this is turn off the lights. So I bought both of these. I've only used this one, the darker one, once. Haven't really used it any other time. I used the darker one to mix with the 104 to see if I could get a darker shade for the 104 because that's what I thought I would do is kind of mix them together. I also bought and absolutely love, I bought the CYO Matte and Blur Primer the CYO Matte and Blur Primer. I really, really like it. I also ended up buying, and I will tell you I do not like this, the CYO Fixing Spray. This is their setting spray. 
I found this stung me when I put it on. I did not like it at all. There's alcohol in here, the, the, the one that begins with the D. So I really did not like this at all but I bought it. It was cheap money. I wanted to see how it would work. So what I've been doing is putting on the primer, putting on the foundation, and then I've been, I've been setting it with the either the NYX matte setting spray or the, the, the illuminating one. I have both. So I've been using that as a setting spray after it was all done. During the day, sometimes if I'm going out for a walk or whatever, I might touch up. And when I touch up, I'm touching up with sunblock. And I've been using the Color Science, the powder, putting that on. I've been using um, a few other uh, cushion compacts that have 50 SPF and putting that on. So far, no matter what I put on my face on top of this later in the day for sun protection as I need it, it's been working really well. In the morning before I even apply this, I've been using my mineral lotion. This is the non-greasy Australian gold. It's kind of a mess because I use this almost every day. And I pay particular attention to putting this on well ahead of before I apply the foundation. So I've been doing that and this, if the key for me is allowing this to have enough time to dry. If it has enough time to dry, this foundation has been playing beautifully with it. And I've also tried my other sunblocks. I have several other sunblocks. I've tried that. The foundation works really nice. The most important thing for me is the foundation lasts me all day. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's an 18-hour thing. I never wear foundation for 18 hours. There is no way that I am going to do that for 18 hours. I get up in the morning. I start my foundation. If I get home, I'm home at 6 or 7 o'clock or even 5.30. When, and I'm not doing anything, I'm not expecting anything, one of the first things I do is I strip off my makeup. So I never test this to tell you how long it's going to last. I will tell you that it doesn't break up on me at all. It lasts really good and I have used sunblock underneath and sunblock on top of it. Now if I was going to go back out, I might touch up my veins, but this has a soup. I mean, you can build this up to a really good solid coverage. You can put it on really light and then you can put it on heavier. I apply this using a dampened beauty sponge, a dampened beauty sponge. And then when I'm all done, I will then buff it a little bit if I have to lightly. And usually I don't. I'll look at it. I look at it 10 times mirror and I'll go, oh, you know, you know, maybe buff out a little bit. But usually I really don't have to buff out. But it lasts super, super long for me and it, it looks good. And so I've been playing with the different shades, you know, and the shade I have on right now, uh, mixture with a little bit of a bronzer and a little bit of a blush. And yeah, I think it looks pretty, I think it looks pretty good, you know, to be honest with you. So I'm really liking how this is holding out. I'm really liking how it's looking on my skin and um, yeah, I'm happy I have it. I really am. I think it's I think it's pretty nice. So CYO Living Proof Foundation. I will link it. I'll show you my color swatches that I did on my arms. Like I said, I'm not a professional with it, but at least you'll have a better idea. Tell you what I have on my skin right now, and the best way to order it is just to order it from Walgreens.com. Have it delivered to your store. That way you don't get socked with shipping charges. And I mean, how can you go wrong for this foundation? And that's why I ordered so many of them until I could find the perfect color because I figured at like $5 or four something, depending on the sale price, you can't beat it. You really can't beat it. And it is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I think um, at the time that I started using this, I think it was Little Susan. Little Susan, she's going to kill me. <laughs> Little Poet. Uh, who had talked about this and she absolutely loved it and I said yeah I gotta go check this out and one of the biggest drawbacks that she had and that I had is the labeling system which totally stinks so if you're wondering why I have this 104 108 written on here it's because there's once this little tiny label falls off and trust me it will there's no other way to know what color you have so I take one of those you know markers that don't that doesn't wipe off and I put it on here right away that way I know what color it is so so anyways, um, since, you know, since I started using this, I have seen a couple of other YouTubers try it and 
um, and I've seen a number of other reviews on it so I think there's a number of people that have been trying this out and I think a lot of them are liking it. I've also been looking at the reviews not from CYO themselves or from Walgreens but just reviews in general and overall I think most people that have used it has, has really liked it. It's had pretty good reviews. I mean there's some negatives. There's negatives and everything right? But there's some negatives and some people that slammed it but majority of the reviews I read were very very positive and I would say I totally agree. So if you're on the fence about trying it and if you have the ability to ship to your local Walgreens wait till there's a sale. They have a sale all the time. I mean every week there's a sale. Order a couple of bottles, have it shipped to your Walgreens and give it a try. I don't think you'll be sorry. I really don't. It is really, really nice, nice foundation. That's my take on it. So anyways, as promised, my review of the CYO. Last night's really nice. Gives me a nice finish. Not a heavy makeup cakey finish unless I really want to apply a lot, 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 lot. Maybe then, but I don't apply that much. Um, good, good coverage. Good tone. It has a lot of neutral tones. You know, not, not so much yellow, not so much pink, but nice neutral tones. And I think I'm more, more of a, a really neutral tone person. So I really, I like that a lot. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye. So this is the CYO Foundation 104, 106, 107, 108, 109, and 110. And so you can see the differences here. The 107 and the 109 is a little bit more of a yellow undertone for me. With the 108 and the 106 and 104 is more peach and the, the 110 is more of a peach. So I've been mixing these colors and the 108 seems to be the best match for me so far, but I've been mixing them all together. That concludes my experiment.